Hi, I'm going to show you how to install Multilingualizer into your Squarespace website. You've got your Multilingualizer already. You've got to download the file somewhere on your computer. Uh, just remember just to extract the file because this is a zip file. Now, we've already logged into our Squarespace website. We're going to go to our settings. Then we're going to go to advanced options and to the code injection. As you can see, we've got a, one field for the header and the other one for footer. And that's how the multilingualizer code is divided as well. Uh, I downloaded my file and I just opened it in Notepad so it's just easier for me just to show you how it looks like. Uh, <clears throat> the only thing we have to just change, let's assume that our website is uh, going to be translated into English and Polish. The first language is English, which is here, and the other one is Polish. The other change we have to do is also put Polish here. Now we're gonna just select the first part of the code and it ends right here. We're gonna copy it. It tells you here within the brackets that the rest of the code below it's best to be put into the footer. We're gonna go back to our website we're going to copy and paste the code into the header. And we're going to go back to our code and copy and paste the remaining code, which is quite a long code as you can see. You can just select it and just drag it. Hold your mouse. Well, so we're going to copy that as well. We're going back to Squarespace website. We're going to paste the code. It's quite a bit of a code. We're going to click Save. And that's actually it. There is nothing else you have to just do with the code itself. Now we're going to go back to our pages. And we're going to add some translation. So the header of this block here, it's called Cheap Flights to Edinburgh. And I'm going to show you how to add translation for all the headers, all the text through the whole website. We start all the translation with four dots. One, two, three, four. Then we've got the default language, which is English in our case, text. Two dots. And now we're going to put our second language, which is Polish in our case. And we're going to finish again with the four dots. One, two, three, four. I've done exact the same thing here with the text. So this is original text. It's got four dots at the beginning two dots in the middle, then translation, and four dots again. I'm going to click Save. And we're going to go to the live page just to see how it works. So as you can just see, you've got English and Polish tab here. So, cheap flights to Edinburgh. 
and Polish text. If you're gonna go back to English. I've got the text in English. <laughs> 